Today, quick tips on uh, how to figure out uh, the problem with the air spring or the suspension right here. A customer brought this car to me and the left side, the only one was sleeping on the floor completely. And the right side was, was good. So actually people just go ahead and order the, the air spring replace it and find out that they still have the same problem so before you do this let me show you quick tips here what are you gonna do you're gonna get the the floor jack and raise the car from the middle and the bottom here just raise it a little bit so you can reach the sensor the volvo block sensor so what are you gonna do to raise the car because you're gonna lose this uh lose this nut and the car will completely sleep on the floor and you cannot even uh, work in here or when you're trying to put the jack back uh, there will be no spot because the car will be completely sleep on the floor so it's better to start to jack the car up a little bit you're gonna lose both of these houses and switch them and after you switch them start the car before you uh, before you move the jack you're gonna start the car first and then let the com bristle fill it up with the air and then uh, lose the jack take it out and see if the other side will be sleep or still the same side so for mine when I swap those one those houses and it, it, it just it changed to the other side sleeping and this side was good so the problem was a, a Volvo block sensor I show you order from Amazon and the second thing is after I I replaced the the valve block and the compressor just to start for one second and then it's die again and then the problem was the fuse I show you where is the fuse for the the compressor you go on the back right side that's gonna be uh this one right there this should be 40 but i don't have 40 for the moment so i bought 30 for now and until i get one so it's this one the green the 31 right there the one is on top on top of this 40. this one right here this is the compressor uh fuse was blowing and then and after i replaced it and the left side just slept again but this time i heard a hissy noise so i jack up the car and if you want to know how to uh how to find the noise because when the car uh raise up the compressor it just shut off by itself so what you need to do is raise up the car a little bit from this side whatever side you're working on and take the wheel off and then get a come with the jack i mean i mean uh get a boot uh uh a stand Get about this stand. What if you have two jacks? It'll be easy for you. So you get the jack after you raise up the car. Put the jack here. Whatever you find a good spot for it. Take the jack off. And then come under the control arm. Right there. And raise it up a little bit. And then the compressor will be start again. And when you start, you gotta start the car after you do this. And the compressor will be start again.
and then you will feel or you will hear where is the the hissing noise came from for mine the noise the hissing noise the air coming out from here I haven't found it yet but when I put my fingers around and I feel the air also you can get a water and soap put it in a sprayer and spray a little bit and then to see uh, if there is a bubble coming out of here so like you see now I replaced the sensor well the black sensor I replaced the air spring and it's been sitting for an hour now and it's good so now let me show you <clears throat> let me show you the cheapest part and I want to explain something to you over here also okay this is the air spring mine is 2010 BMW mine was 2010 and you can get the part number on the sensor you can find it on the sensor I don't know if I have the old one here yes this is the one I got from a uh, no, Amazon uh, sorry this is the the valve block okay so this is the old one make sure when you order the first one I order uh, there was different house size in here so make sure you maybe look at the picture or some because I returned in the first one and I get another one it's very very cheap and it's work fine for the Volvo block here okay yeah it's this one is only $26 you cannot beat the price five star review so the part number here will be the second number four seven two two five 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 six one zero and that was my part number and you can tell it's the uh, same one in here one end was six one zero and it's a uh, 25.99 that's a very good move because it's outside i think the oem maybe like over 300 400 something like that and the air spring uh, is this one right here it's only 38.99 and it's a very very good price so now I have no leak like you see the thing I want to tell you about the uh, air spring so don't do my mistake you can see the first one here when you replace it uh, you gotta make sure yet that you disconnected the hose from the valve block or you disconnect the uh the air compressor block okay I'll go back here so either you disconnected us because the car could be start while you're, you're replacing the air spring and that will jump out and then you can put it back together like that so you're gonna do the same thing i told you at the beginning when you replace the air spring just uh, bought a stand but you're gonna put the stand under here take the jack off and jack up the uh under the air spring which is the control arm yeah you're gonna jack up a little bit from here so you go closer to the air spring so you can tie it over there if you didn't do that and started the car it will just it's gonna be far from here so it sometime it jump out or tight and that way you cannot put it back together so that's why I ordered I ordered another one and that's it uh, if 
you have any question for me just comment below please 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 like and subscribe for my channel and that will help me out make more videos for you thanks for watching